Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 16th Excel tutorial and today I'm going to walk you through creating a Gantt chart in Excel. Uh, so what I've done here is I've created a, a short task list uh, of a project and we'll just assume this is from uh, opening a restaurant. So we start with a market survey, go through the build out and staffing and then open the restaurant. So each task has a start date and then each task also has a duration of days that we would expect that to take. So what we do in order to create a chart, we go under insert in Excel and then you have a whole list of um, chart options here. We're going to go ahead and choose bar chart and in this case if we're going to make a Gantt chart it needs to be a stacked bar. So we're going to go ahead and choose stacked bar under 2D and you'll notice the first thing is that it just creates an empty chart. So the reason why I did that is we haven't created, we haven't selected any data. So I'm going to right click the highlight the chart. I'm going to right click it and, and choose the select data option. And what we need to do is add series of data here. So the first thing we're going to do is add a, the series dates. I'm sorry, the start dates. So we click for the name here. We click the title and then the series values we delete what's there right now and we highlight this range of cells from B2 to B7 hit enter or click OK then the next thing we need to do is we need to tell those we need to associate durations of those tasks so we're going to click add we're going to click duration and we're going to do the same thing here but now we're going to choose the the length of, of the duration we're going to say OK and you'll notice that what we have here so far is we have a chart that just has numbers on the side here and it has a legend. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this legend over here because we no longer need it. So we highlight it, click it, and then just hit the delete button. And then we're going to go back in here into the chart and choose select data again. This time what we're going to do is we're going to we are going to go ahead and add axis labels on the horizontal axis here. Okay, So we're going to replace the numbers here with actual real tasks. So we're going to say edit and we are going to highlight from A2 through A7 and specifically those tasks and say OK. And I'm going to click OK and you notice what happened here. I have, I have all the tasks here. The other thing that's going on here is you notice the bars, the bar charts don't have any spacing in them at all. Any, uh, I'm sorry, any, any, um, it's all filled out whether there's a whether there's a task occurring or not in the this red highlighted area or the red part of the bar chart represents the duration. So what we want to do to make this a Gantt chart is right click, highlight the data. By single clicking in it, click Format Data Series, and under Fill option, click No Fill, and that's going to get rid of that uh, excess uh, fill there. So, a couple things we need to do. This obviously isn't ready. The first thing you'll notice is these are going in the wrong order. So, we're going to highlight this information over here by single clicking, you'll get a box around the, this axis you will right click and choose the format axis option and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the categories in reverse order and then we're also going to choose text, text access we could have left automatically selected but that's fine we can click OK or close and you notice now it starts off with the market survey and stops and open now we're starting to fill out a, a much better chart here so now here's the dates up here so we highlight this axis and then we right click it and say format axis and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click over here under number and to make it less crowded and a little bit more legible we're going to click just the month and the day so we're going to choose that format and then we're going to say close so now we have a much better a much better um, chart from a visual perspective it's not so crammed and overlapped so the next thing 
is we might not want to show all the way from January to January because the project really starts in June and goes through um, no, you know, close to the end of November. So what we can do here is we can go in and we can choose the chart Sorry about that. We're going to go into the date range here again under the horizontal axis and we're going to highlight it and we're going to right click. Oh, I lost the option here. We're going to right click. We're going to right click once we have it highlighted and we're going to say format axis. And you'll notice the axis options, you can modify them. Right now they're just on auto, but we can say fix for the minimum and maximum. And you notice these are numbers versus dates. So we could do a couple of things here. We could just guess right and we know this is going to go to say 40 this is going to go to we'll say 40,300 and maybe this is going to go to 40,500 and you can just experiment with it like that and clean it up but you know it starts in May now and goes to November so what we could do to make this more accurate is we could go and look at the dates in a number format because if you notice here again these are numbers not dates so how we do that is we can go back to our dates here highlight all those cells right click format those cells and right now it's formatted as a date but we can go under number and just make it a number and you notice we have 40,330 through 40,501 so we don't want to leave it like that um, but what we'll do, we'll leave it there for a second. We'll go back and highlight this axis again. We will right click, format axis, and now we can go from 40,330 to 40,501 and click OK. And now you notice it goes from 6 1 through the end of October into November here. So you can extend it, tweak it a little bit, make it fit your needs of your Gantt chart. Um, and then we do want to go back here obviously and change this back to a date and we'll go ahead and put down that format and then now you could take your chart right click the whole thing click copy and then if you were putting out uh, wanted to put your chart in a word document you can just paste it in there okay or any other document for that matter Okay, I think that's all I want to show you today. Thanks for joining, and uh, please uh, let me know what else you want to see, and I'll be putting out more tutorials. Thanks for joining. Bye.